Gentlemen, for a problem like this, all right, what they're asking us to do is find the value of x. Now remember, there's two formulas that we know about, right? We know that the formula that the sum of all x, all interior angles is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. We know the other formula is the measure of one angle is equal to n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. But remember, that only works when we have a regular polygon. So that means a regular polygon, all the sides and all the angles have to be exactly the same. So Daryl, are all the side lengths and all the angles in this polygon exactly the same? No. So this is not regular, right? So since it's not regular, we cannot use this formula. So therefore, we only have one formula that we need to use right now to help us with this problem. Now, do we know? So what we want to do is, again, do we know what the number of sides are? Yeah, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So let's find the sum. And what the sum, again, represents is the addition of every single one of these angles. So if we need to figure out the sum first, so I do s equals 4 minus 2 times 180. Therefore, s equals 2 times 180 degrees. So s equals 360 degrees. Now remember, that's the sum of all of the angles. That means if I was to take x plus 2x plus 3x plus 4x, if I add up all the angles, Ariel, what is that going to equal? 360. Just let her have it. We'll get through. OK. So now we just need to solve this equation. So when you guys were going to solve an equations, Daryl, what we worked on is we need to combine like terms. Well, these all have uh, variable factors of x, so we can combine them. So x plus 2x plus 3x is 6x plus 4x is 10x. So therefore, I have 10x equals 360 degrees. Now to solve for x, I divide by 10, and x equals 36. Okay, So the value of x equals 36. But ladies and gentlemen, that's not the whole problem, is it? They say, now I want you to find what is measure of angle x, what is measure of angle y, what is measure of angle w, what is measure of angle z. Uh, z. So measure of angle x. Well, x just equals x. So guess what? That's equal to 36 degrees. Measure of angle y. That equals 2x. So that's 2 times 36 degrees. right? Which is equal to, David? Very good. <laughs> then I have measure of angle w, which is now 3x, right? So that's 3 times 36 degrees, which is equal to 108. You guys kind of see in this what I'm doing? I'm just plugging them in for each angle. And then we do the last one, measure of angle z. Which is three, or which is four x, so that equals four times thirty-two, thirty-six. I'm sorry, which is one hundred and forty-four degrees. Okay, you guys see that? Any questions? Yes. Oh, okay. You have questions on one through four. Okay. 